Yes, guys. I saw it. I saw Disney and Pixel as Lightyear. And, by the way, this is your host, Gavin. As always. And... This... Is my review on Disney and Pixar's Lightyear. Finally, another Pixar movie to get a theatrical release. First one since Onward. As the other three, Luca, Tony Wed, and Soul were Disney Plus exclusives. And finally, another Pixar movie to get a theatrical release. So anyway, the plot of the movie. This is supposed to be the origin story of Buzz Whitey, the human, who inspired the toy from Toy Story and also what inspired Andy to get the toy for his birthday, which is seen in Toy Story 1. And this is supposed to be Andy's favorite movie. And the part of this movie is... Buzz Whitey goes on this mission... Where time... Goes fast and... His closest friend Alicia... Dies... And... He, Buzz goes on another mission and meets... Her granddaughter named Izzy... They had a team to defeat the evil Emperor of Zerg. Wait, that is... Basically, with the plot... That's probably the quickest that I explained a plot to a movie. That's actually an easy movie to explain. So, my opinion. I will admit it is not as good as I expected it to be. But, that doesn't mean I hate the movie. I still love the movie. I mean, if it was a Toy Story movie... Well, it's Toy Story related because it has a character from the Toy Story series. But if this were an actual Toy Story movie, it would probably be the weakest. So... You know me, I have been a long time fan of Toy Story and Buzz Whitey. I was born in the early or mid 2000s. I would always grew up watching the first two movies. Then I was five when the third one came out, and that was actually my first movie theater experience. And then I was 14 when the fourth one came out. And I saw that one in theaters twice. And I'm now 17. I mean, the animation is gorgeous. It's very well paced. And I don't know if you all remember. This is a Buzz White year of Star Command the Adventure Begins, a straight to video movie. And oh, yeah, one thing I should mention a lot of people. Got very upset when 
they discovered that Tim Allen wasn't providing the voice of Buzz as he did in Toy Story. Instead, they got Chris Evans, who was known to be Captain America. That didn't really bother me that much. I feel like Chris Evans makes a good buzz. And don't get me wrong, I love a bunch of the new characters. And probably my new, my favorite new character is Socks. You know, the robotic companion cat. It really also warms my heart to see that cat, I mean, sorry, that Buzz is a huge cat person, such as myself. I'm actually a cat person, in case you don't know. And, and I heard that this movie got banned from 14 different countries for over one lesbian scene where Alicia turns out to be a lesbian. And they get married and they had a kid. Can't believe it. Freaking homophobics. But that didn't really bother me. Because I'm not homophobic. But it's just insane that it got banned from 14 different countries over one little scene. Well, I mean, it is the month of June. So, yeah. Forgive me if I'm talking a little slow. Just get, I just need some time to think. Yeah, almost everything about this movie is fantastic, except I didn't really care for the twist of Zug, which I'm not going to spoil. And when you will notice that Zug looks a lot different compared to Zug that we see in Toy Story 2. I don't have a problem with his character design in this movie, but I just didn't really care for his twist that much. But at the same time, I thought it was interesting. Again, I'm not going to spoil. If you want to find out, just go see the movie yourself. As I previously mentioned, it is not on Disney+. Plus. It is ex exclusive to movie feeders. Okay, so... Other than that, fantastic movie. I know a lot of people are saying it's just good but not great. But everyone has their own opinion. I just might as well give you my rating. You might actually think that I'm getting this movie a perfect score. Surprisingly, I am not. But it's still going to get an optional score, and that would be a 4.5 out of 5. Yeah. 
Like I said, if this were a Toy Story movie, it would probably be the weakest in the series. I will not watch this more than Toy Story. I think no matter what Pixar does, Toy Story will always be my favorite of theirs. No matter what. And it did not top Inside Out or Coco. I'm not saying it's one of my least favorite Pixar movies, but at the same time, it's not one of my top favorites. It's somewhere in between. It is on par with Turning Red. Which is another Pixar movie that came out this year. But anyway. I was thinking to get write your perfect score, but I just didn't really write Zug's twist that much. And and I can't believe I'm saying this. I don't not know if I enjoyed this more than Bob's Burger. And in case you did not saw my last v video. That I went to go see Bob's Burger last Wednesday, not the a couple of weeks ago, almost a couple of weeks ago, and and I thought that movie is another awesome movie. I don't know if I like that better or I like Lightyear better. So, that is pretty much it with this review, and I'll see you in the next one.